Uh, joined by Anton Dias, who scored uh, another goal today. Anton, uh, another good game, another good win for you? Yeah, unbelievable performance from the guys yet again. Um, coming here, it's, you know, don't think I've had a bit of a bounce since the new manager came in. You can see um, in the early stages of the game, they were definitely got a wee bit more confidence about them. They're trying to play football the right way. Um, we had to probably have to stem um, a, a bit of pressure for the first 10 15 minutes, and then um, thankfully, we've got our goal and got ourselves right sort of a footing in the game and sort of just slowed things down from the Dunfermline point of view and sort of kept a real good shape and made it difficult for them. And on a personal view, it just seems you, you can't stop scoring right now. You know, it's uh, I think you were in the team earlier this season, you had four or five games, and then I think you went out, but then since you've some you've come back in, you just your work rate, you like. Seeing in the 89th minute, you're still chasing after the ball, and the goals just keep on coming for you. You must be high on confidence right now. Yeah, I mean it's it's a case isn't it? for any striker. You you really look for you know first things first. Make sure you're working hard and, and keep the simple things right, and just make sure that side of the game's working for you. And then just like any anything, once you start getting a wee bit more confidence or running the games, things just start. Well, the work hard pays off, and things start falling to you. Um, I mean. For the goal today, it's unbelievable from Noobs. He's, he's done brilliant to hold off his man and he's cut it to me. And it's a case of just keeping my head over it and making sure that the bubbles um, don't mean I don't sky it. So it's just keep my head over it and put it on the goal. But I'm just really enjoying my football a minute. And when you enjoy it, you work just as hard. And when things come, you just feel more relaxed and take your chances. And talking about that, there, there's still obviously uh, you're on loan from Falkirk. We still don't really know what's going to happen there. I think we'll find out in the next few weeks. But you are obviously, as you just said, enjoying your football, Gayfield scoring goals and, and a, a, a you know winning team right now. Yeah, exactly. You know, I need to respect the situation with Falkirk because obviously they're, they're my employer at the minute. But I need to be uh, hugely gra grateful to the management team here, to, to the Gaffer and Pink, because they took a chance on me at the start of the season when I was coming back from. Covid and I wasn't really getting a look in at Falkirk and thankfully from seeing me play in previous years they thought they'd give me a, a, a chance and I have to be really grateful because I'm, I'm now back playing and I'm really enjoying my football and scoring goals and um, I'm really grateful for the chance to get back playing football again. And when you joined our both you probably didn't think you'd be joining the team that we sit at the top of the championship you know at no. the halfway point. It's... No I, I, I think you joined the part-time team it was for me it worked really good I was getting the opportunity to play at a higher level test myself but also I was getting that part time balance so it meant I was still being able to train full time at Falkirk so on paper when I joined it was it was perfect and I just wanted to help you know the gaffer keeps keeps going on and on about making sure our focus is keeping this team in the league um, and that was very clear and it was something I really wanted to help and be a part of um, but since I've came in the boys have just been flying and it's a case we've got a bit of momentum we need to keep it going and I think that's testament to the management team again, you know, and the boys in the dressing room. It's a case of, right, okay, let's not let's not rest on our laurels here. We need to keep going. We need to do the things that have got us this position, and we need to keep going and keep the momentum going. Well, unfortunately, there was no fans today, but there will be some. Uh, I think maximum five hundred back on Wednesday, so hopefully they're cheering you on to another goal. So, Anton Dowds, thank you very much. No, thank you. Very